Hi everyone, today I wanted to share some of my favorite pieces that I've ever thrifted. Now I haven't been thrifting for that long, I think I really only started in college, and maybe it's because of the abundance of thrift hauls I've consumed on YouTube, but I think once I learned the effect of the fashion industry on the environment, I kind of decided that I would try to do my part as best as I can and thrift the majority of my clothing. Especially because there's so many thrift stores around me with really good items and really great prices, I think it's a really great form of self-care to go out and get yourself something that you feel confident in, and also knowing that it's eco friendly and that you just repurposed a piece of clothing that could have just been in a landfill. So yes, highly encouraged thrifting and now I'm going to show you some of the pieces that I have in my closet just to prove to you that you can find really good stuff in thrift stores because trust me, you really can. You just kind of have to put the time in. Let's start with dresses. I don't know what it is about dresses but I feel like they're really easy to thrift. Now I have a lot of dresses because I used to perform with my band at kind of fancy banquets and stuff. Now I don't really do that. Here we go, first item. I got this at my favorite thrift store. Oh god, the lighting. I got this at my fan. <laughs> the lighting is so bad. This side. I'm gonna back up a little. Is that worse or better? No, that's definitely worse. So I got this at my favorite thrift store in Tallahassee. I love the buttons. I love like the wrap detail and the colorful stripes. It's just a fun dress and I really enjoy wearing it. This is a Goodwill find. It's not my favorite cut, I'm gonna be honest, but I like couldn't pass up on the flamingos. So what I do, I, I just kind of take the top and tuck it in and I wear it as a skirt and then just like put a belt around this area. There's like a cinched part. It's actually from the brand L, kind of like the magazine. I didn't know that they made clothes, but you know, I guess that's a thing. This flamingo print is adorable. You'll sense a theme here. I'm really into like fun, quirky prints. This is a dress I thought would be really good to wear to a banquet. It's literally just like a floral black dress. You can't go wrong. It's just like a really easy dress to chuck on. I have more than one floral black dress. You know, it's just one of those things you, you can't really go wrong when you need to look a little bit fancy for an event. I did a full Instagram photo shoot with this dress. Casual plug at grace.yow follow me. I feel like this is really in style, like the buttons going down. It's a nice cut. I enjoy the stripes. I love wearing dresses like this with like a big chunky jacket. This is a dress that pairs really well with a nice piece of outerwear. Another dress that I purchased for an Instagram photo shoot and haven't worn since. I really love the color, love the buttons. I love that it's a longer dress. I don't know, it's a nice dress. Should really figure out how to wear it in my day-to-day -day life. I got this at Community Thrift Store in Orlando, or like, I think it's in Edgewater. This is not zipping up. What is up, friend? Ah, we got it. Okay, I love this dress. It is polka dot. It's like a halter. You know, you know how it goes. I don't know, something about it just feels like really old Hollywood, and especially with like a bold red lip. It's really nice. I have some photos of me performing in this outfit. This is just black and it's full length, kind of more for a formal event, but it is velvet, which I love. And I just really enjoy like the cut. Got a little slit right there and the back is like strap, strappy, st strappy situation. Yeah, this is just a dress that fit me really well. We love velvet. We love a nice classy black dress. All right, let's just go into bottoms really quickly. Um, I don't have a lot of thrifted bottoms. The thing with jeans is that like they need to really fit perfectly and I feel like that's kind of hard to find. I have these fun, fun little, little mom jeans. They're from American Eagle and <laughs> This looks so funny. They fit me perfectly. I like the stripe detail. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to like match things with these jeans. I think I really only have one top that goes with this. This is a fun pair of pants and I'm really glad I found these at the thrift store. Next, I have a pair of shorts. They're really like simple. They're J. Crew, just like a, a chino short. You know, I live in Florida. It's hot here all the time. Shorts are just one of those necessities and this goes with a lot of things. So it's very versatile. Right, real quick, I totally forgot to mention this, but I thrifted these jeans. They're just like a basic pair of skinny jeans. They're American Eagle. Thrifted them out of Goodwill and I forgot to mention it. So I'm mentioning it now. I actually wear these a lot. They're really comfortable and I like them a lot. That's all I have. Let's go into tops. We'll start with tanks and stuff and then we'll slowly go into things with a little more coverage. Thrifted this. I wear this a lot actually. It's just like a really long tank top. Like it's long, but it's not long enough to be a dress. So you like wear shorts underneath. It's got like a fun quirky blue pattern and it goes actually really well with those navy shorts that I just showed you. But yeah, I got this at a Goodwill. So I think it was around $4. I remember when I was in like middle school or early high school, I saw this shirt on the Abercrombie & Fitch website and I went there and I tried it on, but I couldn't justify the price. And then I thrifted it a number of years later. So that's an accomplishment. I really like this top. It's like a nice, pretty blue color. I love the bottom. Mm. My mom's calling me. Hello, I'm, I'm filming a YouTube video. Can, can I call you back? Yes. 
I like this top a lot. I tuck it into like my high-waisted jeans and it looks really cute and I also just love the like the girly little the, the little flare at the bottom and it's like strappy in the back. Classic summer piece and then it also goes really well with jackets. This is a top from Hollister. I also wear this a lot. It's just like one of those tanks that's like really easy to chuck on especially with like a pair of leggings because I live in leggings and this goes really well with leggings. And my friend call it a bandana shirt. It is kind of like a bandana shirt. Bandanas are cute and so is this shirt. Another Hollister tank situation. I'm a hoe for you know the the button down, the ruffles are kind of cute. Yeah, just a staple. <laughs> Next, I got this at Community Thrift Store. It's from a brand called The Impeccable Pig. It is just like a nice color. It's like a light blue top, and then it's got these like the open shoulder strap situation. But like, I like this style. I'm not a big fan of when it's just like a circle is cut out of your shirt, and that's like, and then you can see your bare shoulder. You know what I mean, right? I wasn't really on the off the shoulder trend, but this I feel like is a good compromise. You can't go wrong, it goes perfectly with jeans. 10 out of 10. Really enjoy this top. I should wear it more often actually. I don't don't remember the last time I wore it. I bought this because I really like the light pink. There are just like little cocktails on it, L little cute little drinks, you know? Pretty sure I got this at a Goodwill. I think it is built for you to like tie the bottom, but I mean, I've done that too, but I think I just kind of prefer tucking it into a skater skirt or something like that. Yeah, like I said, really love baby pink. Okay, I've had so many people compliment me when I wear this shirt. It was literally $2 at community thrift store. But yeah, it's just a solid shirt. I've worn it on set a number of times. I can tuck it into my high-waisted jeans or I just wear it with like leggings or something when I'm, you know, working on set. Also another trend I never really jumped on is the Hawaiian shirt trend, but now I kind of got one. Next, this is like my farmer chic shirt. <laughs> I wore this once and one of my bandmates told me I looked like a grandpa, but I think I look cute. I love tucking this into my high-waisted jeans. I got it at a Goodwill. This is meant to be tied, but I, I just enjoy tucking it in. Yeah, it's just a cute print. And I, I like it. I might look like grandpa, but I know that's trendy right now, so. I got this at a Goodwill near my house. It is 100% silk. Just look at it. It's gorgeous. I wear it all the time. I like to roll the sleeves up so they're just like three quarters. Love tucking it into high-waisted jeans. Love the stripes. It's oversized, which I love. Overall, just 10 out of 10. Really, really great shirt that I wear often. I actually think I have a photo of me camera operating in this shirt. Next, I got this at Community Thrift Store and I am obsessed with it. I did a whole photo shoot. Actually, exactly a year ago, it came up in my memories. I did a photo shoot wearing this and I freaking love it. It's from Zara. It's got these cute little like light bulb, this light bulb pattern on it. Yeah, it is kind of see-through. The back is like the stripey detail. I'm just obsessed with the print. It's just a really great shirt. I love it so much. Again, I have a thing for quirky prints. What can I say? This is a shirt from Goodwill, but what people at my school do is that they leave costumes and shirts and clothes from productions in the student lounge. And then you can just kind of take whatever Whatever you want like it's up for grabs because people just like ditch their stuff there which I don't think is like a good idea I'm pretty sure we've been yelled at by faculty for doing that but basically I have a shopping spree and I found this shirt and I just love the color of it it's Beverly Hills polo club I just wear it as like an oversized shirt it's really nice tucked into like a skirt it's just a really great shirt I love this like burnt orange color like this copper color like i don't have anything like this in my closet love this piece a lot on to the best part which is jackets because i think jackets are the best thing to thrift just because jackets are like so sturdy and they're so expensive when you buy them brand new when they're broken in and when they've been it's just jackets are a great thing to thrift all right this is also a goodwill find but i also found it along with the other shirt at the student lounge at my school i don't know how i got so lucky but this jacket fits me like a glove it is a leather jacket which i have been looking for for so long until i found this jacket for free no less it still had the goodwill tag on it i think it might have been around 12 dollars i think this looks so cool i love the buttons the collar detail a leather jacket is just a staple and this one fits me really well and I love it a lot. Next is my favorite 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 denim jacket ever. I know that these kinds of jackets are like super trendy right now. When I was in San Diego a few years ago I thrifted this when I was with my cousin and I almost didn't get it because it was just it was it was like 30 something dollars which is kind of a lot especially in thrift store prices but because it was San Diego everything is a little bit more expensive. You know California. Just look at her. She's, look at the plaid inside of the jacket. It's a gap jacket. It's like broken in, it's worn, and it's just, 
it fits so well. I'm obsessed with this jacket. I've worn it so much. Somebody actually like wrote their name in this. Can I read this? Janet Cal Cal Calais? Janet Calais. Thank you for donating your jacket to a thrift store so that I could pick it up because I love this jacket. I have two corduroy jackets, both of which I got at the same thrift store in Tallahassee, which by the way is City Walk Urban Mission in Tallahassee if you are in the area. I love that thrift store so much. These are probably my favorite things that I've ever thrifted. I'm I'm obsessed with these corduroy jackets. I get complimented on them all the time when I wear them and they're just such good quality. They go with so many things. This is my navy one and it's L.L. Bean, so it's great quality. Again, plaid on the inside, can never go wrong. It's corduroy and I just, I, I love it so much. This one is a little bit bigger. This is also a small, but it is just like more oversized. Come on guys, it's yellow. I own a lot of blue and I found that this jacket goes really well with the color blue. It's more oversized than the other one, but the style is very similar. It's got the collar, button down. It's got these pockets. This is like a more, like I'll show you the texture. It is just like a soft after corduroy versus the other one. This is just such a good piece. I've never heard of this brand, but it's Jeffrey Banks. But what can I say, man? He makes a hell of a corduroy jacket. And this one was also around $4. Next, another thrift store find from San Diego. This is like a red trench coat. I also wore this while I was on a photo shoot. Just like red, it's it's just so out there and it's so bold. Like this is such a statement piece. Three pieces left and they're all blazers. This is like a denim style blazer. This is from BCBG Max Azria. So I'm a producing specialist in film school and I thought that because when I was in producer mode, I would have to wear a lot of blazers and look professional and look like I mean business and looked like I knew what I was doing and so I bought a bunch of blazers all within like a short time period but now everything's just on zoom I I don't know when I'm going to wear these but I have them I think with blazers like fit is like just like the most important thing this is a little bit out there I'm not gonna lie but it's so fun it is like a very oversized blazer it's got shoulder pads it still has the tag on it which i think is crazy because it was originally 29 dollars and then it was on sale for 16 but i'm pretty sure i got this for like probably like seven bucks or something it's just so fun i saw it and i just kind of had to have it it is so loud it is such a statement piece but one day i'm i'm gonna rock this i don't know exactly how but i'm gonna figure it out and last but not least i love this red blazer i love that the inside is polka dot that's so fun it's from chico's i got this at a goodwill in jacksonville when i was there for jacksonville film festival it's just a great blazer we love a good red number and now i'm surrounded by bunches of thrifted clothing thank you so much for watching i really want to get into doing more thrift hauls and fashion videos just because i love clothing i love going out and trying things on and exploring my style getting things for a good price that make me feel good because that's what clothing's all about what kind of clothes you put on your body have a really big effect on how you see yourself and how you carry yourself. So it is actually very important to figure out your style and find out what it is you're most comfortable in. I hope this video motivated you to go out and go thrifting if that's something that you don't typically do or don't have the patience to do. And I hope that you find something really cool while you're at the thrift store. I have days where I spend like $20 in a thrift store, which is actually like a lot for me considering everything's really so cheap. And then there's days where I like don't find anything and I search for hours. So it's just kind of like not letting yourself get discouraged. My name is Grace. Thanks for watching my video. Bye. <laughs>